Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Ugh, I'm tired. <laughs> so, okay. I was supposed to put out a video on Friday, which was March 31st, which was a national holiday. Didn't get the time to do that because of life and kids and stuff. June's teething again. She's getting another tooth on the right side of her bottom. Anyways, um, didn't get to have time to do it. I finished the project though. And I was like, well, okay, I'll do it April 1st because April 1st was National Handmade Item Day or Handmade Day. And it would work for that too because crochet is handmade items. <laughs> but then that day went by, Saturday went by, still dealing with the teething baby and just life stuff in general, cleaning, you know, cooking, all that stuff. And uh, then that night we had a power outage or, you know, the whole city had a power outage. Um, so I didn't get to do that. So today is Sunday, April 2nd, and it's almost six o'clock in the evening. I just got done sewing and I want to show you some bags. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share the item now. So I did make it for National Crown Day, which was crayon, crayon day. <laughs> um, and also the first, the 31st of March was National Crown, crayon day. I can't say the way regular people do it. <laughs> crayon day. And it was also National Crayola crayon day. Um, so I made this. I made it for Jesse, hence the color purple because he loves purple right now. Uh, this is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst, and this is a free pattern. Uh, I think it's called Crayon Holder or Keeper, Crayon Keeper by Jenny Blankenship. I'll link it below. Um, but it's tied and it unrolls and it holds crayons. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. This is crocheted all in one piece, like it's one go. You don't have to weave in any ends except the beginning and ending in. Uh, and it is so cool the way it's crocheted work together. And it, you basically do this one section and you repeat it over and over and over and over. And you can make it as long as you want if you want to make a bunch of crowns. And I was thinking while I was making it, you could even make it taller and make it like a crochet hook um, case. And uh, I used, this is Worst Straight Yarn, I used a, it calls for an elf hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter, I'm pretty sure. Think so but i think if i make it again which i might make another one um might make a couple more i don't think my nephew would want one though he's a little bit older i don't think he colors but um i think i might use a g-hook because with my attention it might be different for other people uh these crowns are a little tricky to get in there first you get them in there and move them around a little bit and it stretches it out you know but uh i think this has eight in it yeah so eight for like the little eight pack of crowns so you could uh, make it as big as little as you want this is not the eight pack i just grabbed random crowns out of his big bag of crowns uh so it's not all the eight colors that comes in an eight pack but um and then you just roll it up and you put this little thing around it and tie it and i do wish this was a little bit longer i should have made it longer because you know i can tie this easy but jesse would have a really hard time because it's so small getting that tied through there but, um, so when I make another one, this is like my prototype, even though it's not my pattern, you know, it's like the first one, so I'm going to tweak it. <laughs> um, I'm going to make the strings just a little, little bit longer so that it's not so hard for him to tie, uh, himself. But I think this is perfect for like on the go in the car. You could put a little notebook or a little coloring book with you. Or like when you go to restaurants, because you know, a lot of times when you go to restaurants, they give the kid a crown. They either give him one crown or one of those two-sided crowns. And it's like, every time we go, we always get like red and yellow and like, what are you going to color with red and yellow? So this would be good to have in the bag, you know, to whip out for them to color, you know, their whole little kid's menu <laughs> that's got pictures on it. Or to bring their little coloring book. Something just to keep them occupied. Um, and this would be good for June, too, when she gets a smidge older. Right now, she just wants to eat the crowns. <laughs> but when she gets a little bit older, this would be cute. You could, like I said, make it taller for crochet hooks or color pencils, maybe, or the markers. Whatever. You could fit in there. I think that would be cool. And even, I know they got those really cool markers that's meant for little kids that are clear unless it's on a certain paper. That would be cool to do this too, just make it taller again. Um, so I might be working with that to try to make stuff for the kids to keep them occupied. But I just thought that was so neat. Made in one piece, just two ends. You make the, you start like down this end and you do the repeat and then you repeat it as many times as you want. And then you like go around it, single crochet um, around until you get back over here and then you like chain so many work back chain so many work back and there you go <laughs> it's done so this is a really cool pattern i definitely suggest this this is really cool and it worked out super quick i made this one while watching tv i, I say that all the time <laughs> i'm always crocheting to watch tv apparently but um the kids were you know running around doing kid things and I, I whipped it out so i like it anyways i'll link it below 
Yeah. And also, about the sewing. I just got done sewing. I had this idea. I was going to make drawstring bags and tote bags. And then the weekend went crazy like I was just talking. <laughs> so I didn't get to make any of the drawstring bags. I don't know if you can see them. They're behind this. Um, I'm going to work on them this week. I think there's 20 of them. Something like that. But uh, I did make the six tote bags that I wanted to make. Because I, I don't like making tote bags all that much. So I'm going to start making them in a lot smaller quantities. So there's three prints and there's two of each of them. I did actually make another tote bag, but it was the giveaway winners for the sticker giveaway <laughs> um, thingy. You know, yeah, whatever. I'll talk about that in a minute too. So these are going to be on the shop tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday, April 3rd. And they're going to go on the shop at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. They are completely done. I just, I do have to put the little snaps in them. I just finished them and I didn't, I haven't put the snaps in. And then hopefully later this week, I will add drawstring bags. So, um, if you're not interested in tote, you can wait to see later this week. But there's only six totes, so, uh, because I don't like making them in large quantities. <laughs> it's, there's a lot more work. And these ones are smaller than the ones I have made most recently. There's a lot of strings I gotta still snip off. But, so just ignore that. I haven't done my last quality check thing. <laughs> um, these ones are a little bit smaller. And the pockets, instead of having two spaces, because it's smaller, it's just one pocket in there. Uh, and it's just because sometimes I like to just mix it up and make things different sizes. I actually thought about maybe boxing some of the drawstring bag bottoms, but it really depends on how I feel the day that I'm sewing. But anyway, so here's the first print. This is like a travel print. I really like this one. It's really pretty. Uh, it's just got all kinds of travel, different countries and like, um, you know, things, what are they called? Like things countries are known for. <laughs> what are they called? I don't remember. And it's got pizza <laughs> and an airplane right there. You see it? It's just really pretty. And it's got a box bottom. And I, I also, so if you see any lint or anything, just ignore it because I haven't lint rolled or anything. I haven't done any of that. There's a pocket in there. Can you see it? It's got navy blue inside. And it's got the handles. And it will have a snap. I just haven't done that yet. Uh, the next print is the sea turtle print, which I know Chris <laughs> in particular has been asking about this print. Now, this print was a weird print to cut because of the way the fabric was printed. Uh, it was hard to get the turtles on there. <laughs> it's mostly... It's mostly the background, and there's some turtle parts on there. I should have I should have brought both of them because they're both kind of slightly different. But anyway, so there's turtles at the top, this, and then there's turtles at the bottom, on both sides. But because of the the way the print was printed <laughs> on the yard of fabric, it was hard to get the turtles in there, like centered. Like I would have liked to put the line of turtles towards the center, but I wouldn't have been able to do that and make toe bags. If I had made drawstring bags, I would have. But everybody wants tote bags it seems more often than the drawstrings they're just a lot more work anyways it doesn't matter i still got the snap this one has like uh the beach liner and there's a pocket right there it just kind of blends in you see it <laughs> there's a pocket but uh so i do gotta put the snaps on there which i'll do that later today or sometime tomorrow and i got a lint roll them and i gotta go through and trim all any little uh strings and stuff and then the last print is this the whale print strings everywhere I swear but it says save our seas and it's got a, a killer whale or orca I guess that's a nice way to say it and a bigger one right there and then the back is the same as the front just opposite facing <laughs> really pretty and this one see I accidentally messed up two of the liners but I didn't mess them up and I got them switched it's got like uh words in it that just you know it's about saving the seas and then there is a pocket in there it might be hard to see it's right there so, this, both of the killer, the orca ones were supposed to have the words, and then both of the turtle ones were supposed to have, like, the beach. And then the other two, though, got switched. So, the other turtle one has the words, and the other orca one <laughs> has the beach. But they all go together. They all have the same color schemes and stuff, so it was fine. It was just, it's not the way I meant to do it. <laughs> but, uh, so there's, those are the six bags that is going to be on in the shop Monday, April the 3rd. At 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I got a whole mess of drawstring bags that I am working on uh, to put in the shop whenever they get done. <laughs> I'm going to try to get them done sometime this week. But uh, I make no promises because uh, every time I plan something, something happens. And it's usually because of the baby. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so yeah. But uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Last month, when my sister first put out her Etsy shop for stickers, she, we did a giveaway. I did a giveaway. For everyone who purchased one of her stickers, got entered for any amount of stickers you bought. So if you bought five stickers, you got five entries um, to win a custom ish bag from me. 
that were, is where you could pick whether you wanted a tote bag or a drawstring bag, and then you could kind of pick the print. Like you could tell me like what you like, and I can try to get something like that. Um, and the winner was Holly. I got your bag made. I just haven't. I can't ship it out yet. I gotta, you know, just laugh. But um, and now I won't be able to ship it out till Saturday if they're even open Saturday. Saturday is not a religious holiday. I don't know. Friday isn't. And Sunday is. I don't know. If I can't get it out, then I'll have to. Because Devin gets off work now. His time has changed uh, after the post office is closed. So I'll have to. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I might have to get my mom or something to drop it off for me. But um, anyways, where was I going with that? Anyways, we had that giveaway. <laughs> so um, I, I told y'all that I wanted to start doing that every month. Because that would help push my bags and also her uh, stickers. And eventually other things that she's going to have to shop. But, so, uh, it's technically already started. It started yesterday. So, anyone who purchased stickers on the April 1st, all the way through the 7th, is going to get entry into that giveaway. So, I'll leave her shop down below. And she put some new designs in last week. Some really cute um, crafty ones, crochet ones, and some for people who enjoy reading. It's like bookish. I don't know what that's called. Book people. <laughs> um, stickers. And she's working on more. So, there's going to be more designs popping up randomly. And she's still working on the felt eyes. And we're still trying to figure out stuff about the magnets because <laughs> it's a little bit um, trickier with magnets, especially the shipping process. But uh, yeah, so anyways, so check out her shop. And if you buy any stickers between yesterday <laughs> and April the 7th at like 11.59 p.m., um, you will get entered into that giveaway. And I will try to announce that April 8th, but I make no promises because it is holiday weekend and we're doing Easter at my mom's house on the 8th. And Easter at Devin's dad's house on the ninth, the ninth. So it might be sometime around there. I'll announce the winner. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so check out my shop. Check out my sister's shop. And purchase things if you want to. If you don't want to buy anything, just favorite everything. Because that will help push it so other people can see my bags and her stickers and all that stuff. I guess that's everything. Do I have anything else to tell you? I am working on two amigurumis, but I haven't worked on them enough to show you anything. Um... And I pulled my sweater out. It's right here. <laughs> I haven't touched it at all since March twelfth. Uh, <laughs> so I want to work on the second panel now and try to get some more of it done before April. I think the eleventh or twelfth is when the next sweater update video is coming out. I have to look at my email because I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. I haven't. I want to get back into making videos more frequently, and I keep thinking I can now because Devin's home every evening. Uh, now because his work schedule stuff's changing, but I still haven't been able to do that. <laughs> I, I always thought, I was like, well, he can watch the kids. I can go record. And I just, I still haven't done that. It's just laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find a routine to where I can do every, we're getting in a really good one for homeschool. Cause after a while we were doing it kind of just whenever we had the time throughout the day. But ever since Devin started his new, um, position, I mean, Dev, me and Jesse has been doing it every day day that we do it we do it four days a week um at the same time ish you know give or take a few minutes um i've been trying to do dinner you know everything i've been trying to do it better at a time schedule thingy whatever i don't know what I'm trying to say. but uh we're slowly now that Devin's on these better hours instead of working at night time it's it's helping with that a lot so i just got to get into the routine of doing that with my videos and with doing everything else, you know, just everything will fall into place. I just I have to give it some time to get there because we've been a night shift family for so long that it's really weird switching to like regular hours. Now he has super, he has like banker hours <laughs> is what they call it down here at least. I don't know if that's what it's called everywhere. Um, so we're getting used to that and it's weird. It's really weird getting used to it because I'm used to him being in bed all day and working at night and now it's, he's at work during the day, you know, the morning and afternoon and then he comes home in the evening and you know, it's nice we all love it better but it's just weird to adjust from six almost no it's like seven and a half years of him being a night shift worker to being a day shift worker <laughs> but it's coming along and speaking of homeschool i've had a few people ask me about it it's going really good uh we're all enjoying it jesse's we're definitely enjoying it and he's doing really good in it um i sometimes feel like Maybe I shouldn't have pulled him out of public school and then things like the Nashville school shooting happens and it makes me glad that I did. Um, and we're all doing good with it and I, I'm enjoying it. I've actually been working on getting stuff ready for his second grade year, which is going to start this fall. His last day of homeschool. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it similar to the public school uh, schedule around here because of the other kids in our lives, you know, so that they can all 
play and hang out at, you know, when they're all off of school. <laughs> um, so his last day of homeschool will be in mid-May, which is usually when the public schools around here quit, usually in the teens, and then, because it's right before Memorial Day and all that, when um, public school quits. So we're getting there. There's only like 29-ish, I think, 20, 29 more school days left, and we'll be done. So it's exciting to be that close to being finished with first grade, and then he'll be going into second grade. And it's just cool. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm blabbing because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. And I like to just blab when I do. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get these bags quality checked. Which is when I check all the seams and make sure they're, they're not missed. Because sometimes, you know, the fabric can unalign wrong. And you just have to go back and fix it. And trim all the little threads that's sticking out. And then I lint roll the ones that need to be lint rolled. Which is usually most of them. <laughs> because of all the fibers flying around. And put the snaps on. And put them up and wait for them to be bought eventually. And then tomorrow evening, I'll probably start working on the drawstring bags. I'm thinking about boxing some of their bottoms. But the I'd have to change the way I sew them to do it the way I used to do. I don't have one here with me, do I? I don't think so. Because um, they have different box bottoms. So I'm going to have to... I don't really want to change my sewing because I got it so like embedded in my brain that I might mess up if I change it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> they'll either be box bottom or they'll be normal. And um, we'll just have to see how they come out. <laughs> but I'm going to go hop off here for real now because I want to get this edited before they get home. They're at Devin's dad's, by the way. Um, and I will see you guys hopefully in a day or two. <laughs> but I make no promises because I keep thinking that things are going to be the way they were when Jesse was a baby. And they are not. June is a thousand percent opposite of what Jesse was. Jesse was the easiest baby in the world and he was super independent and he still is. Uh, you know, he can go off by himself and do his own thing even when he was like 15, 16, 17 months old and June is like constantly like right here <laughs> in my face and wanting me to hold her or wanting me to do stuff with her, which I love, but it's just I'm not able to do what I did in the pre like early No Kitchen Name days. If you go back and watch my 2017 videos, Jesse is about June's age now in those videos. And, um, you know, he's walking around and you can hear him, but he's not like up in my face. But if I start recording with June here, she's like climbing up here and trying to get in the camera and stuff. But, um, I'm, I'm hoping that she'll eventually get a little bit more independent so that I can film more when she's here or awake. Cause a lot of times I do film when she's napping, but I have to be quiet, you know, and not wake her up. But anyways, I'm going now because I'll sit here and talk forever and I'm going to see you guys in another video eventually. Hopefully. We'll see.